Hey YouTube, this is Rob from K Suspension. Let's get to it. Hey guys, so today we are going to be installing a camera mirror. Uh, goes in place of your actual uh, rear view mirror. I guess on top of, not in place of, but uh, we're going to be putting this into this 2018 Jeep Wrangler JL. Uh, the concept is the same with any other vehicle. Uh, just got to find a place to mount your camera, run some wires, hook everything up. But these things are wicked awesome. Uh, gives you full front facing camera, so it acts as a dash cam, but also has the rear camera, so you can actually have full 170 degree view of everything behind you. Uh, takes care of a lot of blind spots, helps when you're backing up, uh, also doubles as a great trail cam, front and rear. It's got an internal uh, micro SD card. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how to hook everything up, throw it inside the car, and then check it out. We're gonna open up this box, kind of show you a little bit of everything that's involved here. Uh, so a few of the accessories that we've come to learn that really, really help with a nice, clean, finished install is this uh, cigarette lighter adapter. Uh, you can buy these almost anywhere. Uh, we get these on Amazon. Um, that way you can hardwire it behind the dash, tuck all the wires behind everything, that way you don't see any wiring. Uh, next up we have our micro SD card. Uh, the unit does not come with one, so we have to buy one. And one thing I have noticed, uh, especially in the four-door Wranglers, is get an extension cord for the camera. So this is a standard four pin barrel connection you can see uh, this is just a little longer cable this one will just be a little bit short uh, we've come to find uh, at least the way that we route the wires so if you route it a little differently no problem let's open this guy up there we go. nice packaging so there's the camera. So this is the portion that's going to be mounted onto your rear view mirror. It's got it's got the SD card slot here. We got our power in. Uh, AVN and then uh, you got your main power button and options these are going to be your strap holders that hold around the mirror here's your front facing camera so this is going to be really really nice and then it comes with its power cord uh, this is where the cigarette lighter adapter comes into place so we can plug this baby in uh, or you can cut this and hardwire it whatever it is that you so choose uh, here it, it gave you a little plastic tool it's nice of them. And then we have our rear camera. Uh, it comes with the barrel connection and the length of wire that you need to run it to the front, to the actual camera unit. And then we have our straps to hold the mirror in place. These things just wrap around the back here and then wraps around the mirror itself and tightens down. We are going to start tearing some stuff apart. So I've always noticed it helps to start in the back, get the hardest stuff out of the way first. So we're actually going to go ahead and pop some of these panels off. That way we can access the cavity of this door. So we can mount our camera up here on the third brake light, run our wires down through the cavity, and then follow the OEM uh, routing. So we're going to follow this main cable out, run it along down the passenger side. So when you get to this point, you want to go ahead and find a good uh, penetration point to get to the outside. Uh, so you can use one of the OEM lines that your brake light comes in through. 
uh, or make your own just make sure that you know it's sealed from weather and all that so we're gonna go ahead and run our wires up to that brake light once you get your wire run up we're gonna go ahead and set the camera where we want it uh, we usually use this third brake light section here you can put it right on top uh, the kit does come with some adhesive tape and some really tiny screws uh, you can use these screws uh, I would not use them on their own I would definitely use them in conjunction with the tape uh, or you can use longer screws or a bolt we, we've done it all so just make sure you don't hit the light in here it's very shallow so if you have to pop this light out figure out where you are measure cut drill whatever you need to do so you guys are going to go ahead and set your camera on there as centered and far forward as possible that actually looks pretty good to me maybe a little left Go. Just gonna go ahead and mark my spot here. Mark this spot here. All right. So now we know where to put our holes for the screws. Some electrical tape on your connection here. to cooperate with you. And then we will zip tie this excess line to the actual third brake light mount. Uh, it would be a lot easier to take the tire off. Um, it is possible without, but it does make life easier. All right, so once you got everything all routed through, you wanna go ahead and follow this OEM harness here. Uh, we went through the breather panel here. Uh, the OEM lighting does come through this little hole here. There's a grommet, so if you took the tire off, you could pop that grommet off and run it through that same thing, come out this hole. There's no wrong answer, as long as everything is, you know, sealed up when you're done. Uh, this red wire here is going to be your reverse trigger. So when you put the vehicle in reverse, if you want the camera to kick down and show you your backup lines, you would hook this wire up to whatever wire your reverse is. Uh, check with a probe, test light, whatever you need, meter, uh, in order to figure out which wire you have for your vehicle that's reverse, but that's what this red wire is for. Uh, we will not be hooking this one up because we already have a backup camera, uh, so we don't need this part, we just need it to view. So I'm gonna be cutting this one short and running the rest of the wiring right along this OEM loom. So at this point, I'm um, trying to show you here, I'm just following this OEM loom here, and then we're gonna go up into behind the plastic, and uh, you can take the entire plastic off. You don't have to. Uh, there is enough room to tuck it behind this weather stripping here and get behind this plastic panel a Little pry tool helps to push everything in and then we're just going to follow that all the way around all the way over there and go to the front All right, so we're moving into the back seat here We're gonna pull this excess so Here's the wire that needs to go up we're gonna come straight down here uh, behind the carpet underneath this uh, plastic trim and go to the front seat. This section is actually a lot easier because you can actually peel the carpet back. Uh, just make sure you zip tie along the way. Keep all the wires secured. Now we're at the front. So we're just gonna continue moving all this down the line. All right, so we're gonna have to get that wire up this A pillar and to the rear view mirror. So we're actually gonna take off this little side panel here. You should just use a little pry tool. You can pop it out. So 
they've never been out before, it might be a little stiff, but it'll come out. There we go. So now we have a little access hole so we can run that wire up. We're going to go up this A-pillar behind the grab handle. Uh, we're going to have to drop the uh, sun visors and uh, get it on over behind that plastic channel up there. So to get these A-pillar mounts off, uh, you can just put your pry tool in the top and bottom plastic trim pieces here. These will pop up and there's a 10 millimeter bolt in here, one here, one down here, and we can remove this grab handle. That way we can get behind this plastic. And then we're going to need some, looks like T20 Torx bits. Drop this visor down and get behind this plastic shielding that's up here so we can run our wires. Once your wires run, let's go ahead and put the A pillar back on. So for the power, we're going to do everything just like we did on the other side, only we're focusing on the front. Uh, this is where this little cigarette lighter adapter comes in, because uh, the power for it is a little cigarette lighter attachment. It'll plug right in. Uh, that way we can disconnect it, change the power cord if we need to, and uh, we're just going to tape this up, zip tie it up behind underneath the dash, and you won't see any wiring except for the two little wires coming down to the actual mirror itself. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually run this plug to the mirror, where the other connection is, and then we're going to run it up that plastic trim, down the A-pillar, behind this plastic uh, cap here, and underneath the dash. So. That's where this is going to be wired. Uh, you can run this to a hot source, so it's on all the time if you want constant recording. Uh, you can run it to an ignition source, so the moment you turn the key on, it fires up the camera and starts recording. Um, I believe these cameras do have an impact sensor, so they should automatically start recording if it gets hit. But uh, either way, I'm going to put this on an ignition source, so we don't have to worry about anything there. And it is fused, even though this itself is fused, but it'll be all right. Double protection. So we're gonna start wiring these in. Uh, we got all the power run. We're gonna go ahead and tuck up all the wiring, zip tie it out of the way, and finish reassembly. Alright guys, all of our hard work has come down to this. It is time to install, oop, almost dropped it, uh, the actual brains of the outfit. Um, so you want to go ahead and install your SD card. Uh, this will not record or do anything unless there's an SD card in there. Um, this camera is adjustable out, so you can push it in or out to move it wherever you need to. Uh, you can adjust this by just moving it once it's installed, that way we can make sure that we're facing straight. Uh, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and shut the hood real quick, just so I know that we're looking the right way. Alright, so we're going to get our little strappy duties and uh, plug all this in. Move this camera out all the way. Let's take off the little protector. Alright, so we're going to plug in the power on top and the video for the rear. So we're just going to plug this guy in. Plug this guy in. It goes this way. There we go. Now we can set this in front of our mirror. Pull off this excess. Grab a strap. Let's 
Same thing on the other side. There we go. Bring in that mirror. Okay. So now that we have it all plugged in, we are ready to turn it on. So we're going to kick the key on. There it goes. Peel this off. Alright guys, so uh, right now we're reviewing the back camera and again you can move and adjust this camera wherever you see fit so that you can view you know, whichever way you want. Looks like our image is actually inverted so I gotta go flip that camera around. That's alright, not a problem. Um, if you swipe left you can actually view both at the same time if you wanted to. I don't know if that's coming up on the video, hopefully it is. But right now we have the front on the left and the rear on the right. And if we swipe again, we can just get to the front so we can actually adjust this camera exactly where you, we want it so that you get full field of view. Again, constant recording on the front. Um, and then swipe again, now we're back at the back. If you swipe right, you can actually access all of your files, uh, view the recordings, delete recordings, you know, whatever it may be. Um, so you can see everything there. Uh, there's a lot of settings in these. Um, this style is kind of cool because you can actually touch it and move the camera. You don't have to get out and adjust it all the time. Uh, anytime you get into an accident, it'll auto record everything and lock it so it'll stay on the SD card. Uh, they do have an app you can download. Uh, that way you can get the videos on your phone as well. You know, pretty pretty neat stuff. Um, I love these because, as you can see, there is nothing blocking your field of view. So you can see everything behind you, uh, even if the car is fully loaded. You know, you don't have to worry about seeing out of the window. You can see everything right here. So yeah, that said, uh, if you push this middle button, it'll actually put the screen to sleep, and it acts as a normal mirror. So it's reflective. You can see whatever you want to see just like normal. Push it again, it's back up. Uh, the moment the key comes on, it is recording. Uh, you can make it record audio and video, or just video, just audio, whatever it is that you want to do. But these are pretty slick. So now that everything's flipped over, uh, we can actually uh, talk to this camera unit. So we can say, uh, show front camera. Okay. And it'll actually flip the image for you show rear camera okay. so you just have it flip right there um, you have all the touchscreen options here go into your settings uh, you can change the resolution between 2.5k and 1080p uh, frequencies uh, sound on off the button all that jazz you know you can go through anything here here's the speech recognition gives you a list of different things you can do so you got screen audio video turn it off turn it on you know all all the goodies um, so pretty cool system um, like I said we've been putting these in for a while this is the first one that we've installed that actually has the touch screen capability um, and I found out on the right here is actually your brightness and over here is where you can adjust the camera so up and down so we're actually there's the back we're gonna go up just a hair that way we're seeing all traffic uh, but yeah Hard work paid off. So there you have it guys. Uh, installation is pretty much straightforward. Hardest part is running all the wires, tucking everything away for a clean install. Uh, all these parts are available on Amazon. There are a plethora of different ones out there, but I will throw the links in the description below for everything we used. Uh, just make sure you measure everything, make sure you have enough length, and you know, don't forget whatever it is that you need to install it. Uh, if you'd like to see anything else, uh, please shoot us a message. I'd be happy to get it on the books. Hopefully we can get another video out to you guys shortly. Um, these camera systems are amazing. Uh, we have put them in many different vehicles uh, between Jeep, Dodge, Chevy, Ford. I mean, they're, they're awesome. So I would highly recommend it if you like to be able to see out your back and have a good dash cam at the same time. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure you guys keep the rubber side down. Uh, let us know if you need anything. And as always, Happy trails.